the classroom. I'm Katie. It's a little spooky today in the classroom. Look at all of our great decorations we have. Can you guess why we're being so spooky? It's because it's Halloween, of course. Yes, I'm so excited to celebrate Halloween with all of you today in the classroom to hear about your costumes and trick-or-treating and pumpkins. Eleanor and Daphne from California say they're going to dress up as unicorns. Keith, Mason, and Dane are going to dress up as dinosaurs. Urgh. There's so many exciting things about Halloween. What's your favorite part about Halloween? I think my favorite part would have to be the pumpkins. I love scooping out the pumpkin and carving a jack-o'-lantern. That's got to be one of my very favorite things about Halloween. Sierra and Henry say they love carving pumpkins too. Moira, their favorite, her favorite part is giving out candy to trick-or-treaters. That's really fun, too. Eleanor says she likes Halloween parties like today. Woohoo! I'm so excited about all our Halloween fun, and I'm also excited about giving a big hello to all of our friends watching. Let's come on over here. Get your guitar ready, Pearl Ann. We're about to sing our big hello song. When I sing, my name is Katie, you can sing, my name is, and shout it out nice and loud what your name is, everybody. Let's give a big wave. Hello, hello, what's your name? Hello, hello, what's your name? My name is Katie, my name is, what's your name? Shout it out nice and loud. Yeah, nice to meet you. All right, let's say hello to some of our friends. Hello, hello, hello to Eliana and Ishan. Hello, hello, hello to Lucas and Ava and Alexander. My name is Katie. What's your name? Can you shout it out? I see Natalie and Dandy from Florida. Nice to meet you. Let's be friends. A big hello to all of our friends watching today, Annette and Hamilton, I think I saw, and Clara and baby brother Chester. A big hello and happy Halloween to all of our friends. Now, one of my very favorite parts about Halloween when I was younger was trick-or-treating, of course. I know Camilla and Carlos from Dubai, they went trick-or-treating a little early, had a great time. And our friend Milo really loves trick-or-treating too. But he was feeling a little bit nervous, so he decided to practice on his Monster School vlog. And practicing is always a good idea if you're feeling nervous about something. It's a good thing Milo got some practice in. Let's take a look how it went. Let's see. Maybe? Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Well. Milo, he was practicing his trick-or-treating on his vlog, and he had a really fun time knocking and saying trick-or-treat. But I guess we'll save that for another time. That's okay. Trick-or-treating can be so much fun. It doesn't have to be too spooky, but I have something spooky that I can share with you all right now. Take a look at this. Got some spooky slime. Ooh. Look at that, all green and ooey gooey, perfect for Halloween. Oh yeah, stretches and slimes, wow, look at that. It's really fun to play with, to squish in your hands, yeah. And you can make a slime just like this. We have a recipe on our blog, so you can try it at home. Let's make this slime really spooky. Let's add some spooky Halloween glitter. Got some pumpkins and spooky witches. Let's get it all on there. Oh yeah. We'll mix it all up. Here we go. They're all spooky-like. 
Kitty. Keith, Mason, and Dane played with Play-Doh this morning. That's kind of like slime. Let's get all these spooky things up. Kira Rose loves green. Can you see all our spooky things in our slime? Ooh, there's lots here. Let's stretch it out. Let's add some creepy spiders to our slime. Here we go. Creepy spiders. Ooh. Add them all over. We'll mix them up in the slime. They get stuck in our slimy web. <laughs> Dandy likes the color green too. All right, let's squish it all up. Ooh, squish, 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 squish. Get all those spiders in there. Ooh, it feels so neat. Oh, let's stretch it out. Let's see. You see all those creepy spiders in here? Ooh, let's stretch it out really wide. Whoa! Look at those creepy spiders! Ooh, so neat. Oh, it feels so cool. Oh! I guess we can see Milo trick-or-treating now. It's always good. Let's go see Milo practicing the trick-or-treating. It's pretty funny. So let's go see. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Knock, knock, knock. Trick-or-treat. Oh. Oops. Oh. oh, I should have been carrying that with me. Um, uh, let's try again. Hmm. Got my bucket this time and uh, knock, knock, knock. Trick or treat! Oh, oh, sorry, bucket. Knock, knock, knock. Trick or treat! <laughs> yes, nailed it. Yes, yes. Wahoo! Candy, 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 candy. Candy, 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 candy. Well, I think I got the basics of it, the gist of it, the basic general concept. <laughs> Thanks for practicing with me. Now I'm all ready to go trick or treating. <laughs> Hope it wasn't too spooky for you. See you later, Monster Gators, and Happy Halloween! <laughs> Time to get that candy. Candy, 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 candy. Happy Halloween, Milo. He'll be fine trick-or-treating, right? Yeah, yeah. But LB says Milo is a really cute banana. He sure is. Candy, 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 candy. Scarlet and Abigail think Milo's a silly banana, for sure. Milo's always pretty silly. Ooh, not too scary, though. Not like this slime. Emery says spiders are pretty scary. Well, spiders can be a little creepy, but they're really good insects to have around. Let's take one more big stretch of our slime. Ooey gooey. Lots of spiders stuck in that slime. There's one right there. Let's see if we can find some more spiders around the classroom. Spiders have eight legs. Let's get eight fingers out so we can crawl around like a spider. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight legs. Let's crawl around like a creepy spider. Here we go. Take a look for some more spiders. Where could they be? Hmm, creepy spiders. Here we go, over here, over here. <gasps> look, lots of spiders in a spider web. How many spiders do you see? Let's count them together. One, Two, three, four, five, six. Six creepy spiders. Good counting, everybody. Let's see if we can find some more spiders. This time, let's crawl around like an itsy bitsy spider. We'll put our thumb and finger together. Let's crawl, itsy bitsy spider. We'll find some more. Ooh, creepy spiders. Where could they be? Up high, down low, look all around. Let's see. I see some spiders in the spider web. 
How many are there now? Let's count them together. I see one, two, three, four, four creepy spiders. Nice job. Ryan says he's going to be a spider for Halloween. That's a great costume idea. Can we crawl around like a big daddy long leg spider? Ooh, daddy long legs have really long legs. Let's crawl around like a daddy long leg spider. Here we go. Here Rose and Ethan counted four. Let's see if we can find more. Crawl with your big daddy long legs. Ooh. Lachlan got four too. Nice counting everybody. <gasps> That's a lot of spiders. How many spiders are on this web? Let's count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten creepy spiders. Good counting. Ava and Alexander from New Zealand, they found 10 spiders. So does Emery and Vincent and Pearland and Isla. Great counting. Can you imagine seeing 10 spiders on one web? Ooh, that would be really spooky. Or if you saw a spider flying in a glider. Have you ever seen a spider flying in a glider? That'd be pretty spooky too. Or a spider sipping some apple cider. Ooh. What about eight legs cooking ham and eggs? That sounds like something that might happen down by the spooky bay. Ooh. Let's take a trip down by the spooky bay together. We can sing that song. Do you know any good spooky rhymes? We can try them out in the song. Let's get singing, everybody. Are you ready to go down by the spooky bay? Down by the bay where the pumpkins grow. Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mommy will say, Did you ever see a ghost eating some toast? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the pumpkins grow. Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mommy will say, Did you ever see a bat dancing with a rat? Down by the bay, down by the bay, Where the pumpkins grow, Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mommy will say, Did you ever see a vampire making a campfire? Ooh. Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the pumpkins grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mommy will say, did you ever see a witch scratching an itch down by the bay? Oh, some of our friends are coming up with great spooky rhymes. A bat wearing a hat. That's a good one, Kira Rose. A ghost eating toast. Oh, here's a good one. Let's try a mummy eating honey. Down by the bay where the pumpkins grow. Back to my home. I dare not go. For if I do. My mommy will say, did you ever see a mummy eating some honey? 
Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the pumpkins grow, back to my home. I dare not go, but if I do, my mommy will say, did you ever see a troll digging a hole? Ooh, down by the bay, down by the bay, where the pumpkins grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mummy will say, how about, did you ever see a, oh, hold on, that doesn't rhyme. <laughs> did you ever see a ghost in a boat? Okay, we'll try it. Down by the bay. Let's do one more, everybody, all together. Down by the bay, where the pumpkins grow. Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mommy will say, Did you ever see a spider flying in a glider? Down by the bay. That'd be spooky. Down by the bay. Great singing, everybody, and great rhymes that you all came up with. See, a goon howling at the moon. That's a good one. A vampire and a zempire. Ooh, really nice. Furland says, a bear being scared. It's such a fun song. Keith says he loves this song. Camilla and Carlos say, a zombie eating a brownie. That's a good one. Jackson was dancing along, and Wesley had a lot of fun. There's a lot of fun things happening at Halloween. Oh, you know who else really loves Halloween? Our friend Toby, of course. Last year, Toby went trick-or-treating, so he came to my house, he knocked on the door, and he even had all these, hmm, well, maybe you should take a look and see what happened when Toby went trick-or-treating last year. Let's go trick-or-treating with Toby. Trick or treat! <laughs> oh, hello! Is that you, Toby? Ah, that be pirate Toby. <laughs> Do you like my costume, Katie? Yeah, you look great. Here is a treat for you. Mmm, yummy! Thanks, Katie. You're welcome. Have a great time trick or treating. I will. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> Trick or treat. Hello, what a great costume. <laughs> Hello, my pretty. <laughs> I am a witch. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Wait, do I know you? Uh, oh, uh, no, I, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, happy Halloween. <laughs> happy Halloween. Which sure reminded me of someone. Hmm. Trick or treat! Wow, a princess! A magical princess! Oh, I like your costume! Oh, thank you! Wait, have you been to this house before? Uh, who, me? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, lots of houses to go to, and, and I gotta visit them all. So, uh, 
gotta go. Okay, <laughs> bye. Happy Halloween. <laughs> seems a little strange. Ooh, trick <laughs> or treat! <I'm> scary! <laughs> Here you go. Thank you for the treat! You're welcome! <laughs> Happy Halloween! Katie, I tricked you. <laughs> you tricked me? <laughs> it's me. It's Toby. Toby? <laughs> You're a pirate. And a witch and a princess. And now I'm a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> it's my Halloween trick. Oh, you got me. That's such a good trick, Toby. Here, I have another treat. Ooh, thanks, Katie. <laughs> Wow, that was fun. <laughs> well, I'm going to finish my trick-or-treating now. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween, <laughs> Toby! <laughs> <laughs> it was Toby the whole time! What a great Halloween trick! Trick or treat! Oh, nice costume. But you won't fool me twice, Toby. I know it's you! <laughs> yeah. Trick or treat? Oh, um, hi! <laughs> Sorry. Um, and, uh, here. And, um, happy Halloween! <laughs> Whew. Happy Halloween, everyone! <laughs> It was Toby the whole time. He had all those different costumes. Penelope knew Toby was playing a trick. He got me really good, didn't he? Wesley says he wants to try being Toby for Halloween. That would be a great costume. And Jacob was a ghost for Halloween, just like Toby was. There's so many different costumes that you can choose from, right? Yeah, you could be a witch like Toby or a princess like Toby, all sorts of different ones. I just came up with an idea for another costume for Toby. There's so many good ideas for him. Let's see if you can guess what I'm gonna dress Toby up as. Let's see. I got a little Toby right here. Hi, Toby, say hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna dress Toby up for Halloween with his new costume. Let's see if you can guess what he's gonna be. I got some white yarn that I'll use, and I got some tape here. Just gonna cut this yarn right there. Get it fresh. I'm gonna tape on the back of Toby to start off. Then I'm gonna use this white yarn to wrap it all around Toby. Can you guess what he's gonna be? Ooh, it's gonna be spooky. Yes. There's so many different costumes to be. Do you know what you're going to be for Halloween? Michelangelo's going to be a zombie mushroom car or a cat, a zombie mushroom cat. <laughs> and Roxy's going to be a princess cowgirl. That's a great idea. Pearl Ann's going to be a girl Hulk so she can be big and strong and green, just like our spooky slime. All right, we almost got Toby's legs done. Wrap them up, wrap, 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 all the way around. Can you guess? Ethan says Toby's gonna be a mummy. Dandy and Miriam say a mummy too. You think he's gonna be a spooky mummy? Well, if you like dressing Toby up, we have other super simple characters that you can dress up too. There's a link in the description below with, um, uh, a sheet that you can download, you can cut out all our super simple characters and wrap them up like spooky mummies. One arm. Let's get Toby's other arm. It's gonna be spooky, spooky, spooky. Keith, Mason, and Dane are gonna be a T-Rex. <laughs> Very neat. Zuri's gonna be a parrot. Lachlan's gonna be a firefighter. Freya's gonna be a lamb chop. 
Those are all great costume ideas. All right, we're almost done dressing Toby up like a mummy. This is a good practice for your fine motor skills too. Now we just need Toby's head. Let's wrap his head up like a mummy. Here he goes. Ooh, he's gonna be so spooky. Spooky scary. Nathan and Jacoby are going as superheroes. Taylor's gonna be going as a pony. These are all great costumes. A little bit on his hair too. Yeah, let's add his hair. All right. And then we'll just add a little bit of tape on the back and cut this off. And we'll take a look at our spooky Toby. Tape it off. Yeah. You can try these. We got Baby Shark and Milo. You can turn into spooky mummies. Look. Ooh. He's all set for trick or treating, even with a little trick or treat pail. <laughs> Looking good, Toby. Spooky Toby, all dressed up. Ava and Alexander from New Zealand are gonna dress up as Batman and Ladybird. Olivia is gonna be a skeleton. Daewon from Taiwan is gonna be a ghost. I hope I said your name right, Daewon from Taiwan. A ghost. Spooky. Jaden's gonna be a mummy too for Halloween. It's a great costume. It's so much fun to dress up. And if you make some mummies out of your favorite super simple characters, I'd love to see how they turned out. You can share the photos on Instagram, use the hashtag Katie's Classroom so we can all see, or you can um, tag me in them at Super Simple Katie, because I have Instagram now. It's a lot of fun to connect with all of you there. And I'd love to see your photos. I saw some wonderful photos of your costumes this Halloween. Now we're not gonna be able to share all of them today. So make sure to tune in next week if you didn't get to see your picture. So we'll show it uh, next week. We'll try and get them all in as we had so many, there's so many great costumes. But let's take a look at a few of them. They're so good. This is Raksha from the USA with her pumpkin. The pumpkin's dressed up like a kitty and she's dressed up like a butterfly. Beautiful costume, Raksha. Lyra from Brazil with a little witch hat, looking really cute. Helena from Brazil says, go away, spooky monster. <laughs> Bento from Brazil, dressed up as a spooky farmer, looking good. Raylan from the USA, looking super cute in a pumpkin patch. Lucas from Canada, look at that great costume. You look like you're ready to go to space, astronaut. Anna Elisa from Brazil, looking really cute on Halloween. Keats from the USA, I love big costumes like that. They're so warm and cozy. Camilla and Carlos from Dubai, and they're going around trick or treating. Spooky. Penelope from the USA, the cutest little Cabbage Patch doll there ever was. <laughs> Victoria from Canada, look at that perfect little pumpkin she carved. You did a great job, Victoria. Henry and Sierra from the USA. Henry's a pirate and Sierra's a bat princess or a bat fairy. You did a great job, great costumes. Ivana from Mexico is a spooky ghost. Ooh. Ewan from the USA, check out Ewan's amazing decorations for Halloween. And it was Ewan's birthday too. Happy birthday. Penelope from the USA, look, her whole family all dressed up together. It's a great costume. Thanks for sharing those photos, everybody. I always love to see what you're up to at home. It's lots of fun. You know, I haven't really decided what I'm gonna be for Halloween this year. Hmm. I guess I should figure that out because Halloween's tomorrow. I'm gonna need a costume. Do you think you could help me figure out what I should be for Halloween? Would that be okay? Yeah? Okay. Right. So I have a couple things that I've been looking at. Let's see here. Um, we have a pirate hat, okay. A princess tiara, some tiger ears. Those are always good. Some antenna. Those are fun if you're gonna be like a insect or a bug. And a chef's hat. There we go, we'll get them all out here. But none of these things are really a costume on its own. Uh, 
Well, hold on. Let me see if I can find something that might make a costume here. I think I have some things in the closet. Just give me one minute. I'll be right back. I'm going to go see what I have. One second. Here we go. Aha! Ta-da! Check it out! Look what I found! Got a neat vest and a sword. Now, hmm, what would complete this costume out of all these things we have here? Would it be the princess tiara, the tiger ears, the antenna, the chef's hat, or the pirate hat? What could it be? Hmm. Well, I got this sword and the vest. Do you know what hat would work best with this costume? What do you think? The chef's hat? Hmm. Ethan says the pirate. Miriam from Saudi Arabia says Captain Katie. Yeah, Moon and Annette say the pirate hat. Let's give it a try. Raylan says pirate. Okay, let's try it on and see how it works. Ta-da! That be Pirate Katie. Should I be a pirate for Halloween? What do you think? Arr! Yeah, Colson got the pirate hat. Nice job. Thanks for helping put a Halloween costume together for me. What do you think? Pirate for Halloween? Arr! Well, I like it. It's a really nice costume. But I did see something else down there when I was rummaging around that I think would be really good too. And I want to show it to you just in case. So here, let me take this off. And I'll find that other thing down there. Give me one minute. I'll be right back. Where could it be? It's just soft. It's around here somewhere. Oh, I was looking for that. A rooster. No, here it is. Ta-da! A pink feather boa. Beautiful. Now, what would go with this costume? Hmm. Could it be the chef's hat? The antenna? The tiger ears? Maybe the princess tiara? What do you think? The chef's hat, maybe? No, you wouldn't want to wear a chef's hat with this feather boa. It would get all in the food. That wouldn't be good. What do you think? The tiger ears? Or the princess tiara? What do you think? Could that be it? Let's try it. Keith Mason and Dane say tiara. Does it work? Ta-da! Princess Katie. Ah, what do you think? Should I be Princess Katie for Halloween? Does that work out? Jaden got the tiara. Annette says, the princess crown. Yeah, I think this goes well together. Should I be Princess Katie for Halloween? It's a nice costume, but... Hmm. I don't know. Let's try one more just to make sure we're getting the right one. <laughs> the feather's getting everywhere. Oh, boy. Okay. I'll be right back, everybody. I got one more thing I want to show you. Okay, one second. Here we go. Okay. Now, I saw something here earlier that might work. Excuse me. Coming through. Got it. Found it. Look. Do you know what these are? Butterfly wings. Now, what would make my butterfly costume complete? Could it be the pirate hat? The chef hat? The tiger ears, the antenna, or the princess crown? What could it be? Do you have any idea? Jacob says I should be a bug. A butterfly is kind of like a bug. It is a bug. What do you think? Harley loves butterflies. What should I put on my head? How about the antenna? Yeah, Miriam from Saudi Arabia say the antenna. And Callum. The antenna ears and Harley, how does that look? Do I look like a butterfly? What do you think about being a butterfly for Halloween? Just like Raksha. Yeah, I think I like being a butterfly. It's so hard to choose. 
and it's so much fun to all dress up. Thanks for helping me put those Halloween costumes together. Now I got lots of options, which was really great. It's fun to dress up on Halloween. You can even dress up your face with some face painting. Do you like getting your face painted? Yeah? Well, we have a couple different ways you can paint your face with your favorite super simple characters on our blog. There's a link in the description below so you can try some face painting out at home. My friend Emily is an amazing face painter and she came over to try painting my face for Halloween. Ooh. Why don't we take a look at when I got my face painted and you can see if you can guess what I'm going to be. Let's take a look. This is my friend Emily. She's going to paint my face for Halloween. Can you guess what I'll be? What am I? Rawr! I am a tiger! Just a little cat nap. What will I be this time? Can you guess? Sometimes it tickles. What am I? I'm a butterfly. Let's do one more. Can you guess what I'll be next? Emily is really good at face painting. Almost done. You have to stay very still. What am I? I'm a dog. That was fun. It was fun to get my face painted, all those different things. Great guessing, everybody. You did a great job. <laughs> Calvin and Roman guessed tiger. Pearl Ann and Calvin, they also guessed dog. You did a great job. Penelope says puppy. Yeah, good guessing, everybody. Face painting can be a lot of fun. Annette loves to get her face painted. She was a cat and a unicorn. Really neat. Nice job. Annette liked the butterfly face painting the best. You can try out some face painting at home. Just click on that link below and you can try them out. You could do a little baby shark, one of our favorite super simple monsters, and go as something super simply for Halloween too. I bet Emily could paint anything. She was so good at face painting, wasn't she? She could probably even paint my face to look like a monster. <laughs> this is a monster craft that I made out of a tissue box. Can you believe it? This is an old tissue box. I'll show you how I made it, everybody. Let's take a look. All you need is an old tissue box, any kind like this. Make sure it's empty. And you want to take the plastic part out of the hole. So you just pull it all out and then paint it. You can paint it any color you like. You can paint it pink, like this scary monster, or green, like I did. I painted mine green, and now it's all ready to decorate. So to start, I'm gonna use a little bit of black paint, put it here 
in my orange plate. Looks very Halloween-y, doesn't it? The black and the orange. And I'm just gonna paint the very bottom of the inside of my tissue box so that when you look inside the tissue box, it looks like the inside of a spooky monster's mouth and not like the inside of a tissue box. <laughs> Get lots of paint in there. I think I need more black paint. Ooh. No need to be scared of the monster. It's just a craft and you can make one at home. You can make it as spooky or as silly as you like. There we go. Paint all the inside, the bottom. There we go. Now it looks a little bit more spooky. Let's decorate it. So to start, we're gonna need some teeth for our monster. So the best way to do this is to take some white construction paper or some white foam that I have here, cut it in a long rectangle strip, put it inside the box like this, and then you're gonna trace your teeth. So you can use a black marker, put it inside, make sure that the bottom part of your rectangle is lined up with the top of your Kleenex box. And then you're going to do big teeth like that. And you can do scary sharp teeth or you can do round funny teeth, however you like. We'll cut them out. And then when you cut them out, they'll look like this. And you might see a little bit of the black part, but that's okay, you can just flip it over and then you have scary white teeth. Let's use these teeth and we'll put them in our monster here. So I'm gonna use a little bit of glue from our glue stick. Put it on the top of our teeth. Ooh, this monster's gonna be spooky with these sharp teeth. Let's put it inside. Ready? Just give it a little push. Squeeze it together. Whoa! We got the top part of our monster teeth. Now let's add the bottom. Put a little bit of glue down here. Eleanor is gonna try and make a scary pink monster. That's a great idea. Here comes the teeth. The bottom part of the teeth. Ready? Make sure they're all lined up. Ooh, chomp chomp. <laughs> Look at our scary monster teeth. All right, now let's decorate the body of our monster. How about some of these? We got some yellow stickers. We can put them all over our green monster. Spooky. One there. How about one there? Ethan says the teeth of the monster look like shark teeth. Really sharp. <laughs> Scary shark teeth. Let's use one of these big stickers. Looks good. All right, how about one more over on this side? Yeah. And to make these extra spooky, how about we add some eyeballs to them? I got some different colored googly eyes. Let's add that, it's gonna make them super spooky. A little bit on the glue stick. Whoa, look at that. Scary monster with many eyes. How about a big eye? Look at that big googly eye. It's gonna be a many-eyed monster. <laughs> what else should we decorate it with? How about one more eye up here? Let's see. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does look like chicken pox, doesn't it? Pearl Ann says, let's try some pink pong poms. Okay, let's get some glue out. Put this out of the way. Pour some glue out onto our plate. There we go. Let's add some pink pom poms to our monster. Ooh. How about maybe some on the side there? Might need to dry a bit. Pink pom poms. Yeah, the pom-poms are really fun to put on our monsters. Look at that. Oh, 
we have to make some eyes for our monster too, of course. We can use these big fluffy white pom-poms. They can go on the top of the head. What do you think of that? With some big googly eyes? Yeah, let's try that. I'm gonna add some glue to the back of our big googly eyes. Like this. And then stick them right on the pom-pom. And a glue stick works really well for sticking googly eyes onto the pom-poms. They stay on really nicely. Let's add some more to this one. Oh, two spooky eyes. All right, Ethan, we're gonna add on these big googly eyes. Go. And how about these eyes? They can go right on top. You can see here, we'll go right here. Add a little bit of glue. Right there. Press it down. Oop, not too hard. <laughs> we'll squish our monster. A little more glue. Another eye right there. Wow, look at our monster. He looks great. So nice. How about a couple more pom-poms, yeah? Jocelyn says some purple pom-poms. Let's add some purple pom-poms to our green monster. It's looking pretty good. Yeah. When you make your monster, you can make it any way you like. You can give them all kinds of interesting things. Clara says that monster can have eyebrows like this. Look at this monster. It's got big eyelashes. Or you could have your monster have big eyeballs on pipe cleaners. Or maybe a big feathery eyebrow like that. There's lots of different kinds of ways that you can make your spooky monster. Ooh. I really like how our monster turned out. We have a link in the description below, a blog post that'll have more details and pictures on how to make your tissue box monster at home. And if you try it out, make sure to share the pictures on Instagram. Use the hashtag Katie's Classroom so we all can see, or you can tag me at Super Simple Katie. I'd love to see your monsters and to connect with you. It's going to be a happy Halloween. It sure is, Mr. Monster. <laughs> I had a lot of fun singing and playing and celebrating Halloween with you today. I hope I'll see you next week. We're going to have lots more fun in the classroom. And if you didn't get to see your Halloween photo this week, make sure to tune in next week and we'll try and get all of them in for you so you can see all your great costumes and pumpkins. But right now, let's give a big wave goodbye to all of our friends. I hope you have a very happy and very safe Halloween. And we'll see you next week. Let's get ready to wave, everybody. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Tito and Ethan and Rima and Keats, to Zoe and Taylor, to Roman, Keats and Caraway. See you later. Goodbye to Lucas from Canada. Esmiel and Ishan, Sierra, Henry, Moira, and Baby Gideon, and Dandy from Florida. Dandy, I hope your skin feels better soon. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Max from Toronto, Lucrecia from Argentina. Goodbye to Eliana and Ishan, Shaima from Canada, or Shaima. Goodbye to Natalie and Rocky from Mexico. Goodbye to Harrison and Annette. Goodbye to Presley from Kansas, Ava and Alexander. Goodbye to Zoe and Everly and Faria. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Penelope, happy Halloween. Goodbye to Lucy from Wisconsin. Jack, or Jake, sorry, Jake, Lexi, and Jackson. Goodbye to Octavio from Italy, see you soon. Goodbye to Prime Prom in the, the Philippines and Clara from British Columbia. Goodbye to Eleanor and Daphne. Goodbye to Adelina from Texas, Regina and Rock and Rosie, Jacob from Pennsylvania, and Caleb and Evina from Florida. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye, Pearland. Goodbye to Layla from Wisconsin and Penny 
Lyra from Brazil and Noah from New Orleans, Patricio from Mexico, Sophie and Nate from Mexico, Tanim from Turkey, goodbye to Tia Jane from Winnipeg, and baby Logan from Tennessee. Goodbye to Keith and Mia. Goodbye to Isla Marie from California. Jan from the Kurdistan region. We'll see you all soon. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. We'll see you next time. Bye everybody. Happy Halloween.